Hello everyone, it's July 24th, 2014. This article taken out of CBS Sacramento. 530 Fatties Facebook page targeted overweight, obese, Yuba Sutter residents. Yuba City, a Facebook page created to criticize people about their weight is generating controversy in the Yuba Sutter region. 530 Fatties appears to be created by someone who lives within the local 530 area code and featured photos of overweight or obese people in public without their permission. With those photos are words mocking the subject's weight. The page was taken down at some point on Monday after CBS 13 began looking into it after several people reached out to us. Jessie Lynn Howell, 18, is still mortified after discovering a picture of herself posted on 530 Fatties. Quote, it's really hurtful and it's really embarrassing. She said, I know it's probably someone from around here and whoever it is, they need to stop because that's ridiculous. End quote. Howell says the picture of her was taken in October when she was 50 pounds heavier. She says lifelong medical problems have caused her to struggle with her weight, but medication she's taking is helping her get control. Quote, I feel so much better, like the way I get dressed, the way my clothes fit, she said. CBS 13 tried to get answers on who is behind the rude pictures and vile posts. The address listed for the page was one number higher than the address for the Yuba City Walmart. A phone number listed on the page was disconnected. Most of the photos on the site came from Yuba and Sutter counties, according to a 2013 UCLA study that linked lower income and education levels with obesity, the two counties were above the statewide average of 22%. Yuba County's obesity rate was 30%, while Sutter was at 28%. The creator of the page did not respond to our requests for comment. Meanwhile, Hal says she's not letting what happened to her or happened get her down. Instead, she's motivated. It's motivated her to work hard to achieve her goals. Quote, I'm not where I want to be, but I'll get there. I'll get there, she said. Cyberbullying, bullying period. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. So I'm going to be a voice today for those people that don't have a voice. And that's the end of the article. Wow. I have so many thoughts on this. First of all, I was raised by a mother who was always overweight. And I had a lot of issues around that. I went through a period of not eating and, and diet, excessive dieting and not never wanting to be fat and trying to work through all of that that came along with having an overweight parent. But this social media is just out of control. There's no privacy anymore. And body image is such a personal issue. It's so it, it's so complex. People are overweight for so many different reasons. And boy, this cyberbullying just makes it even harder for people. There's just nothing, nothing private anymore. And I know if I were photographed with my picture and my body being obese on one of these sites, I would just be mortified. But gosh, we have to be kinder to each other. I just can't stand all this cyberbullying. The internet is such a can be such a wonderful tool for circulating information, but when it's used this way, it's so hurtful. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great Thursday. Thanks, guys.